Hello everyone, myself Dr. Aditya Gupta. In this video, I wanted to tell each and every NEET aspirant the five major mistakes that they might be committing at this given point of time. And here they are. The first major mistake that each and every NEET aspirant conducts, especially in the beginning of their journey, is underestimating NCRT. Now, I'm not talking about biology NCRT. I think a lot of you do, uh, by this point of time, understand that biology ki NCRT is very, very important. I'm talking about underestimating the NCRT of physics and chemistry. If need to 2022 is any indicator, most of your questions are going to be coming from just NCRT, be it physics or chemistry as well. Especially as far as chemistry and CRT is concerned, the organic and the inorganic portion mostly have been coming from NCRT. So underestimating your NCRT, especially your physics and chemistry NCRT as well, apart from uh, what everyone keeps on telling your biology NCRT, would be a grey mistake if you are committing it right now. The second major mistake most neat aspirants commit is reading NCRT, but reading NCRT passively. Now NCRT has to be read actively. A lot of students uh, and a lot of neat aspirants, what they do, they actively read their coaching notes, but read NCRT passively. Uh, you should read your NCRT actively in order to retain it more because until unless you actually retain your NCRT, there's no point of reading NCRT in the first place. So you should try to remember each and every line of NCRT, especially as far as biology NCRT is concerned, because that is what is going to help you in the actual exam. The third major mistake that most neat aspirants commit is not solving previous year questions. Solving previous year questions is an essential part strategy and whatever you want to call it for cracking neat. Because if you haven't solved previous year questions, you won't realize which topics are more important and I have to give more energy, more time and which topics are less important and maybe I can not skip, you do not need to skip anything, but maybe my resources and energy should not be given as much as possible. For example, if I tell you that a one person is spending 10 days on chemistry in everyday life and one day on, uh, you know, uh, P block and D block elements, you will consider that person as fool, right? Because chemistry in everyday life is not as important as the very important ch uh, chapter of S and P block elements. That is, why do you know this? Because of the previous year question. We know that from previous year questions that this topic has this much importance or this much weightage. And we need to spend this much time or if uh, a particular topic which is very heavy in previous year questions, we need to spend more time in order to make it more perfect. So not solving previous year question is a major mistake that most need aspirants end up doing. Fourth major mistake, not solving MCQs enough. Now, most people do know that you need to solve lots of numericals as far as physics and chemistry is concerned. This time, the MCQ part that I'm talking about is as far as biology is concerned. You're a good student, uh, reading NCRT thoroughly. But until unless you don't know how to actually see an MCQ, like attempt an MCQ, especially as far as biology is concerned, even reading your NCRT won't result in a product, uh, won't be productive in uh, the way that you desire. Because the, the exam is not a theory exam. The exam is an MCQ based exam. And MCQ preparation requires practicing MCQs. So you need to practice the previous like, questions of biology uh, the past 10 years at least, and at the same point of time, more question, more NCRT based MCQs to know what your strong, uh, you know, how much NCRT do you actually know in an MCQ based manner. Because in MCQ, it's very, very easy for examiners to fool you. And in theory, you might consider that I know each and every line of NCRT, my memory is so good. But in the MCQ, you might get confused. And if you are getting confused, that means your preparation is lacking. And if you're not getting confused, that means that your preparation is on track. Uh, so you should practice each uh, lots of lots of MCQs, especially NCRT based MCQs in biology also. Physics and chemistry, yes, you should solve lots of numericals, but this is valid as far as biology also is concerned. This brings me to the fifth and another major mistake that you might be committing right now, but considering NEET 2022 should not be, and that is not solving assertion reason questions. Now, assertion reason questions have become a major part of NEET, and going by the trend, they have increased from, you know, they were just one or two questions in 21, there were many questions in 22, and the trend is probably going to be similar as far as 2023 is concerned. They might even experiment more and bring different types of questions, like, you know, uh, how many statements are correct, you know, two statements, three statements, stuff like that. So if you're not solving assertion reason question, that's a major mistake that you're doing. In this particular regard, if you're looking for a book which is complete, you know, which has all these features, which has all the previous year question, which has NCRT based MCQs, which has assertion, re uh, uh, assertion reason questions as well, then I would like to suggest to you a book called NCRT as Track by Disha Publication. In my view, it's an amazing book. Why? Because 
apart from having the ncrt based mcqs that you should practice apart from having the previous year question that you should practice it also has a lot of assertion reason question so three you know three in one kind of a thing at the same point of time it has given the line of ncrt each and every line you know the page number of ncrt from where they have picked up the questions so you can actually go back to your ncrt understand okay this is the page maybe i missed this if you are getting a question wrong this will help you you know practice and like like they say practice makes a man perfect this practicing this book will improve your confidence improve your understanding and improve your memory of ncrt which in turn will result in you getting a better score in neat apart from this objective ncrt extract of disha publications for biology it's also available for physics and chemistry as well i'll give a link in the description i'll give a link in the pinned comment section from where you can buy this really good book that will help you practice ncrt perfect ncrt and practice assertion reason questions as well so that's my video for you today thank you and have a nice day